three launches in three months. That's the incredible pace SpaceX has set with its towering Starship rocket, and they're not slowing down. Right now, at their Starbase facility in Texas, history is in the making as the teams prepare for what could be their boldest test yet, Flight 7. Just days ago, the world watched as SpaceX achieved a critical milestone. The giant rocket, standing tall against the Texas sky, underwent its crucial wet dress rehearsal. As propellant coursed through its veins, Starship took on nearly 11 million pounds of fuel, enough to power a small city. The sight was breathtaking, frost coating the massive vehicle, creating an ethereal scene as vapor clouds danced around the launch pad. But this isn't just about putting on a show. This is about pushing boundaries. The new V2 design of Starship brings game-changing improvements to the table. The second stage alone has received a 25% boost in fuel capacity, pushing it beyond 1,600 tons. Why does this matter? Because every extra drop of fuel means more time in space, more capability to reach distant destinations, and more potential to transform space travel as we know it. Flight 7 isn't just another test. It's a preview of our future in space. For the first time, we'll see Starship attempt to deploy payloads in orbit. We'll witness engine relights far above Earth. And if everything goes according to plan, we might just see the first successful catch of a super heavy booster, a feat that would revolutionize rocket reusability. The countdown has begun, and on January 13th, all eyes will be on Starbase. From the engineers in the control room to space enthusiasts around the world, we're all part of this historic moment. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, and today we're breaking down every crucial detail of what could be SpaceX's most ambitious launch yet. Let's dive right in. The story of Flight 7 begins in the pre-dawn hours at Starbase. As the first hints of sunlight peek over the horizon, SpaceX teams are already moving with purpose. Their preparations following a carefully choreographed sequence that's been refined through six previous launches. But this time, something's different. The tension in the air is palpable. This isn't just another test flight. This is the moment where Starship transitions from a prototype to a true spacecraft. At T minus 75 minutes, the launch director's voice crackles through the comm system, initiating the countdown that could change the future of space travel. Every step that follows is a testament to the engineering marvel that Starship has become. The process starts with loading liquid oxygen into the ship at T minus 44 minutes and 59 seconds, followed by liquid methane just over two minutes later. As these cryogenic fluids flow into the massive tanks, they create a mesmerizing display of vapor clouds cascading down the rocket's surface. But the real story here isn't just about the countdown. It's about the revolutionary changes SpaceX has made to this latest version of Starship. The V2 design represents the biggest leap forward yet in the program's history. Take the forward flaps, for example. They've been completely reimagined, smaller, sharper, and repositioned closer to the vehicle's tip. This isn't just an aesthetic change. It's a calculated move to enhance navigation while providing better protection during the intense heat of re-entry. Speaking of protection, the V2's heat shield is unlike anything we've seen before. SpaceX has developed next-generation tiles that don't just shield the spacecraft, they're backed up by a secondary layer, ensuring Starship safety even if some tiles are damaged or lost during flight. This dual-layer approach shows how SpaceX learns from every flight, adapting and improving with each iteration. The brain of this beast has evolved too. The new avionics system is a quantum leap forward, featuring more powerful flight computers and integrated antennas that combine Starlink GNSS and backup RF communication functions. But perhaps most impressively, they've managed to pack in smart batteries and power units capable of delivering 2.7 megawatts of power, enough to run a small town, distributed across 24 high-voltage actuators. As we reach T-19 minutes and 40 seconds, the engine chill procedures begin. This is where the true magnitude of what we're witnessing becomes clear. 33 Raptor engines, each a masterpiece of engineering, prepare to unleash their power. And among them is a historic first, one engine from the B-12 Flight 5 booster, making this the first time SpaceX has reused a Raptor engine on Starship. It's a small step that represents a giant leap toward full reusability. 
The mission profile itself reads like a science fiction novel come to life. At T plus 62 seconds, Starship will hit max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure where the force is trying to tear the rocket apart or at their peak. But it's what happens next that truly pushes the boundaries of what's possible. At T plus two minutes and 32 seconds, the super heavy booster will begin its carefully orchestrated shutdown sequence. Eight seconds later, something remarkable happens. Stage separation, supported by the innovative hot staging system. This is where the dance really begins. As the ship ignites its engines to continue climbing toward space, the booster initiates its boost back burn, beginning its journey back to Starbase. This is where Flight 7 could make history. The goal? To catch the massive super heavy booster with Mechazilla's catch arms, a feat that's never been successfully accomplished before. While SpaceX has wisely included a backup plan for a water landing in the Gulf of Mexico, the anticipation of potentially witnessing the first successful catch attempt has the entire space community holding its breath. But while all eyes are on the booster's return, Starship S-33 will be embarking on its own ambitious journey. At T plus 17 minutes and 33 seconds, it will attempt something never before seen in the program's history, a payload deployment demonstration. 10 simulated Starlink satellites will be released into the vacuum of space, proving Starship's capability as a true orbital delivery vehicle. The technology enabling this mission is nothing short of revolutionary. The V-2 design's 25% increase in fuel capacity isn't just a number. It's the key that unlocks longer operations in space, making missions to the Moon and Mars not just possible, but practical. The spacecraft will carry more than 30 cameras, streaming over 120 megabits per second of high-definition video and telemetry through the Starlink network, giving us unprecedented views of every crucial moment. At T plus 37 minutes and 33 seconds, another critical test begins as the ship's Raptor engines reignite in space. This isn't just for show, it's a crucial demonstration of the capabilities needed for complex orbital operations, including the eventual refueling maneuvers that will enable deep space missions. As we approach the final phase of the mission, starting at T plus 47 minutes and 14 seconds, Starship begins its journey home. The re-entry sequence is a testament to the sophisticated engineering that's gone into this vehicle. The ship will transition through the challenging transonic phase at T plus one hour and three minutes, followed by the subsonic phase about a minute later. In its final moments at approximately T plus one hour and six minutes, Starship will perform what might be its most dramatic maneuver yet, the landing flip, followed by a precise landing burn. If successful, this controlled vertical landing in the Indian Ocean will mark the completion of the most ambitious Starship test to date. But the true significance of Flight 7 extends far beyond these technical achievements. Each successful milestone brings us closer to a future where space travel is not just for government agencies and billionaires, but accessible to all of humanity. The advancements being tested here, from the enhanced fuel capacity to the payload deployment capabilities, are the building blocks of a spacefaring civilization. Looking ahead, SpaceX has already begun preparing for Flight 8, which promises to be even more ambitious. The lessons learned from Flight 7, particularly regarding the thermal protection system and catch mechanism, will be crucial for future missions. They're already testing new metallic tiles and an active cooling system, along with radar sensors on the chopstick system to improve catching accuracy. The impact of these developments extends beyond SpaceX, as we've seen with the parallel developments at Blue Origin and their new Glenn rocket, the entire industry is being pushed forward by this rapid pace of innovation. While Blue Origin has faced its own challenges, including recent environmental fines and launch delays, the competition drives progress across the board. This mission represents more than just another test flight. It's a pivotal moment in our journey to the stars. The technical upgrades, the new capabilities being tested, and the sheer ambition of the mission profile all point to one undeniable truth. We are witnessing the birth of a new era in space exploration. With each launch, with each successful test, with each lesson learned, we move closer to making life multiplanetary. As we count down to launch day, the excitement builds not just at Starbase, but around the world. 
From the engineers and technicians working tirelessly behind the scenes to the millions watching online, we're all part of this historic moment. Flight 7 isn't just pushing the boundaries of what's possible, it's redefining them entirely. As the countdown to January 13th continues, each passing moment brings us closer to witnessing another chapter in humanity's greatest adventure. Flight 7 isn't just a test, it's a testament to human ingenuity, determination, and our unwavering drive to reach for the stars. From its enhanced fuel capacity to its groundbreaking payload deployment capabilities, this mission represents a crucial stepping stone toward making life multiplanetary. Join our growing community of space enthusiasts who are following this incredible journey. Drop a Ready for F7 in the comments below to connect with fellow observers who'll be watching this historic launch with us. Have thoughts about which milestone you're most excited to see? Share them in the comments, whether it's the booster catch attempt, the payload deployment, or the re-entry sequence. If you want to stay updated on all the latest developments in space exploration, especially as we approach this groundbreaking launch, hit that subscribe button and join the Elon Musk 24-hour community. Don't forget to tap the notification bell to ensure you never miss our breaking news updates and in-depth analyses. Remember, we're not just observers, we're witnesses to history in the making. This is Elon Musk 24 hours and I'll see you for the launch. Breaking news from Starbase. A surprising twist has emerged in the story of SpaceX's groundbreaking Super Heavy Booster 12. After making history as the first ever caught booster, B-12's unexpected journey back to the Mega Bay has sparked intense speculation about its fate. Will this pioneering piece of spaceflight history find its way to a museum, or is SpaceX preparing it for an unprecedented second flight? But that's not all that's happening at Starbase today. Flight 7 is taking shape before our eyes with SpaceX achieving full-stack integration in record time. Meanwhile, the space race is heating up as Rocket Lab throws down the gauntlet, challenging NASA's approach to the Mars Sample Return Program with a bold new proposal that could reshape the future of interplanetary exploration. From caught boosters to Mars missions, today's episode brings you the latest developments that are transforming the landscape of space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of Super Heavy Booster 12 reads like a modern space epic. Just three months ago, we witnessed what many thought impossible, a massive rocket booster gracefully caught by the arms of Mechazilla after its thunderous descent from the edge of space. That moment marked a revolutionary milestone in spaceflight history, but B-12's journey was far from over. As dawn broke over Starbase on January 15th, B-12 stood silently in the rocket garden, a place traditionally reserved for retired hardware. Alongside it, the ghosts of earlier prototypes, Booster 4 and Ship 20, seemed to whisper tales of missions past. For many observers, this placement felt like a quiet acknowledgement of B-12's retirement, a fitting end to a booster that had already secured its place in the history books. But SpaceX has always been a company of surprises. On January 9th, as the Texas sun began to paint the sky, B-12 began an unexpected journey. The massive booster, still bearing the scars and scorches of its historic flight, rolled slowly back toward the mega bay. The space community held its collective breath. Was this a sign of resurrection or something else entirely? The plot thickened when B-14.1, a piece of hardware typically used for testing with the chopsticks, made its appearance in the high bay. Engineers and space enthusiasts alike began connecting the dots. If B-14.1's stand was destined to replace B-12's, it could signal the end of an era. The implications sent ripples through the space community, not just for B-12, but for the entire first generation of Starship boosters. As we delve deeper into this developing story, we must consider the broader context. SpaceX isn't just iterating, they're revolutionizing. The transition to Starship version 2 looms on the horizon, a design evolution that promises to push the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight even further. In this light, B-12's status as a version 1 booster puts it in a precarious position. 
The window of opportunity for additional flights grows narrower with each passing day. Meanwhile, the next generation is already taking shape. Booster 15 stands ready, having completed its construction and testing phases. Not far behind, boosters 16 and 17 are progressing through their development cycles, each incorporating lessons learned from their predecessors. These newer iterations represent SpaceX's relentless drive forward, but they also cast a shadow over B-12's future prospects. Yet there's a poetry to this moment, a chance for B-12 to serve a different but equally vital purpose. If preserved intact, this booster could become more than a museum piece.